What's going on guys? Dane here, back with some more Monsters and Puzzles Bite Size PvP. Uh, real quick, before we jump into the PvP, uh, at the end of the video, at the end of the video, we have 200 plus orbs to summon. 200 plus. That is a lot of summons to do. So stay tuned for that or skip ahead to the end of the video. I won't judge you. I won't blame you. But we're going to jump into this PvP. And then we're going to do all those summons, and I'm excited to see what we get. I'm super excited. I mean, odds are we're getting something good. That's just how it is. Odds are we're getting something good. So I'm excited. Uh, first fight in. What do we do? Let's build our purple bar. Get some attack off. Decent turn. We did crit. We did crit. Alright, they got a crazy turn off. They got their special. Always be afraid of a special. Freezing, I don't know what that does. Let's heal. Because I don't know what freezing does, I'd rather heal and then combo. Does this frighten? It does frighten. We win. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. Uh, Could have been cleaner. but I I, Actually, I take that back. I don't think it could have been cleaner. We played that pretty well. Scream falls. Scream falls. Got some Odin coins in the Asgard shop. I've got a few of those. Maybe I should see what I can spend them on. The Asgard shop, huh? Rank reward. Cool stuff. Gotta love it. Uh, let's jump into the next one. Stay tuned for the crazy amount of summons. Or skip ahead if you're not interested in the PvP. I don't blame you. What is going on with white tights? What is going on with white tights? I didn't make a move. That is the worst thing you can do in this game, is just stay still and not do anything. Do something on your turn. I messed up. We're gonna combo. Get some health back. They're gonna... They didn't do what I thought they would do, but they did something way better. They got their ultimate off because of it. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, if we frighten this turn, we might even win. We just have to hope that we do something crazy right now. We frightened. We might win the game. Oh my goodness. What do I do? Let's combo. Let's combo. Big chunk. That's exactly what we needed to see. Okay. You might have noticed I went quiet for a second. I I thought I was going to lose. We're ranked 13. Good stuff. Could be better, could be worse. We're going to build our purple bar immediately. Everyone saw that move. Everyone knows that's the move we're going with. Oh, great. We're going against a troll defense. JKM06. You're a gushy. Gushy stamp of... Well, not really approval. Stamp of disdain? <laughs> I don't know. Not a big fan of troll defenses. They waste my tickets. Uh, I mean, everyone likes to win. But I'd rather win a fair game than waste a ticket for a two-second match against someone that has no chance. I'm in these high ranks for a reason. I want real fights. So that stuff's frustrating to me. But it is what it is. We didn't get our ult off, which is very unfortunate. We killed Daisy with our summon. Our summon just did work. We're ranked 10. We are ranked 10. Important to note, we are in the top 10 right now. Let's combo. Big plays. We're going against Kelpie. One disadvantage of not playing live you might notice that sometimes I take too long to make a decision and I run out of time. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens sometimes. Uh, that doesn't happen to bots. Bots do not mess up their turn. They do the most optimal play there is, and they do it quickly. Now, if you're playing live PvP, people actually make mistakes. So I think live PvP, I think tournament is actually much easier. I think it, like, just miles easier than playing in Coliseum. 
People make mistakes. They don't always do the most optimal play. You don't get ulted every turn. <laughs> it's just a different experience. And sometimes they mess up. We're in the top 10. 3,000 ELO. Good stuff. We are right here. Just chilling. Our power is pretty high, all things considered. All right, let's jump in. I am nervous to see what's going to happen, but we should have a chance. We're going against a mirror match. What are the odds of that? There was a better play. Well, actually, no, there wasn't. We got our ult off of it. Okay, good stuff. We did exactly what we needed to do. And we won the mirror match. In one shot. <laughs> Sorry, Ernesta. We made you look bad. I know you're not bad. You wouldn't be going against me if you were bad. But that was a very good turn. Sometimes that happens, though. In a world where bots get ultimates every other turn, it's nice to get an ultimate of my own for once. He almost got his ult just now. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna do this. It combos nicely. We got his all the way up to his summon. But it was basically unavoidable unless I red blasted. And I'm too far behind to be red blasting right now. That sucks. Our first loss. What you gonna do about it? You know what I mean? Our first loss. This is going much better than expected. We're still rank 9. We didn't de-rank. Thank god. Uh, I mean, I say thank god. My mindset's changing. I figure if I'm going to be stuck in the high ranks, I may as well get as high rank as possible. Because no matter what, I'm going against the most try-hard players. Uh, you might be seeing why Alucard is my first summon. <laughs> We've gotten a lot of Frightens off for once, and I just got done complaining in the last video about how I never get Frightens. Big kill, we took on Mr. Spear guy. We are still rank 9. Nothing fancy there. It's hard to rank up when you get in these higher ranks. It is very difficult. All right, we got our special off. Does it trap? It did not trap. Nancy, you're scaring me. Two gold stars, huh? So that's what a gold star can do to you on a bad turn. But Toby doesn't get a good turn. If he gets a good turn, it might be all over. It's all over. <laughs> I figured. I figured. Alright, well, we just got outclassed by a low level. I, I I don't have any excuses there. His account's just better than mine. But then again, all I really do in this game is check in and collect my daily rewards, which levels you up hella fast. And then I record videos every so often. I don't play that much. I don't play at all in my off time. So my account isn't as crazy as my level might imply. Alright. Alright, we have both our bars next turn, assuming he doesn't do something insane. He's doing something insane. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Uh, we have our summon up, though. We do have our summon up. Does this frighten again? Nope, okay, we lose. But we got a bunch of summons to jump into. That was a cool character. Anyways, so that sucks, but we won like 7 out of 10. So, can I really complain? That went pretty well. Let's jump into all these summons. We have... We're not going to do the basic orbs. We have a bunch of mythic orbs and a bunch of faction orbs. Let's jump straight into it. Anything crazy? I mean shards. We're going to open up our shards at the end of the video to see if we got anything out of the shards. But for now, we're digging for real characters. We got a Nesky. We got my arch nemesis. Nesky. General Grievous himself. 
What are the odds of that? Who's this? Shars Uxia. I don't even know who Uxia is. Have I seen that character before? I don't know. She stood out because I like ghost girls. That's all there is to it. Uh, Sin. We got another Sin. And we got a Kagan. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Let's go ahead and open this. 50 shards set. Cool. Cool. We got an Aliyut. Another Aliyut. So 50 shards for him. Cool stuff. I am running him. He is my second summon. He's only not my first summon. He does more damage than Alucard, but he doesn't have a status ailment. Pretty good pull. Pretty good pull. Another Sin. We have shards for days for this Sin guy. Another one. Man, I sound like DJ Khaled. Being really excited for the first time in his life. Lily. Cool stuff. We're going to call that good. And we're going to jump straight into these faction orbs. See what we get. If we get anything crazy, we are jumping into the next faction. It's cheap to refresh it, so I don't mind. A Gyra. We all know and love Gyra. Dope character. Very useful. Very overused. But for a good reason. I wonder if we got anything out of the shards. We're summoning a lot of shards. A lot, a lot of shards. I wonder if we can open anything. We're going to find out. I'm going to go into my backpack at the end of this. And we're going to see if we can open anything. We got a set. What a beautiful character this is. Apparently I already have him, so we got 50 shards. But look at him. He's called Set, but he looks like Anubis. Do they just look similar? Do they have a lot of dogs in their mythology? I don't know. I don't know a thing about Egyptian mythology. Igis. We got the robotic horseman. 50 shards. 50 shards for him. Gotta love it. And we are all out of orbs. I'm cool with it. That was dope. Let's see if we can open anything. This is not where you go to open things. <laughs> uh, okay. We actually got... We got a set. We didn't have them before. We have a set now. SSR Plus. Big ol' ears. Gotta love it. What a dope looking character. I don't know what he does, but we're gonna find out later. Oh, we didn't have this guy either. Igis. SSR Plus. That's exciting. So apparently it says that you just get shards for them. Even if you don't have them. But you can open them up in your inventory. I forgot about that. It's been a minute since I've done a summon session. What a cool... I'm just uh, mesmerized at how dope this character looks. And we got the crow. We got Mr. Kazak. Kazak. However you want to pronounce it. Shadow the Hedgehog. The crow of time. The Raven himself, Kazakh. I'm excited. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.